Welcome back. It is 745 right now. Drones are rapidly changing the way countries fight wars, keep tabs on their enemies. Now the Department of Defense, now known as the Department of War, looking for cost effective ways to stop illegal drone flights over military bases and other sensitive locations. Yeah, it's it's uh, quite the conundrum here. Fox's Asher Red is at Florida's Elgin Air Force Base this morning where he got a first hand look at some of the newest technology and Asher these companies are coming up with some interesting ways to take drones down. Good morning to you. Well, good morning to you as well, Tom and Hannah. They're trying to really think outside the box here. Some of the technology I saw yesterday was part of the Falcon Peak project, and it used things like radio transmissions and even nets to capture drones mid-air in restricted airspace. U.S. Northern Command estimates around 8,000 drones are in U.S. airspace at any given time. And the Department of War is testing new ways to keep drones away from military bases. You don't want one of these things flying through, like I said, on an airfield or at a, on an approach or departure path uh, when aircraft are coming in uh, or taking off. Last year, U.S. NORTHCOM reported over 350 drone incursions at more than 100 military facilities. Not every drone is nefarious. Some of them are just people they don't know they're not supposed to be there. Last year, a swarm of over a dozen drones flew over a U.S. military base in Virginia for 17 nights straight. At the time, lawmakers accused the Pentagon of lacking counter drone procedures. Since then, companies have taken steps to change that. Some systems use nets packed into shotgun shells to knock drones from the sky. That goes out and grabs it with a net and takes it down safely and puts it wherever you need to. Other systems simply pinpoint where a hostile drone is by picking up on its sound, making it useful in active war zones. You see a lot of drones flying in the, in the near the ground, in the ground cutter, making it difficult for radars to pick up on them. Acoustics doesn't have that issue. Once the acoustic system shows troops the drone's location, they can shoot it down themselves. It allows people to be passive, to, to not light up like a Christmas tree when you're somewhere you don't want to be found. And yesterday I spoke with the Air Force General in charge of U.S. NORTHCOM. His goal is to have a response team on the East Coast, the West Coast, and in Alaska that can respond to drone incursions across the country within 24 hours. Back to you. Yeah, 